Facing 90 mile an hour bowling is not easy. It's not something that you can prepare for. I don't know how years ago they used to bat without helmets, I'd be absolutely petrified. It's as hard as it gets. Power and pace has always been part of cricket, and as the game has evolved, so too has innovation around helmet technology to allow the players to play as freely and as confidently as possible. This is the next generation of helmet. It's very much an emerging technology. I'm here at Lords with Vitality, the PCA and Missouri to see how the world's most innovative helmet, the TrueFit 3D, is changing the game. Helmets are so important when it comes to cricket and you yourself have had your life saved by a helmet. Each and every player can go through it, doesn't matter how good you are, how equipped a player you are, there's still an element of risk involved with batting and being struck in the head. Back in 2015 against Australia, I was bowled a good bouncer and I took my eye off it and got hit on the softest part of the helmet. If you don't have trust in your protective equipment, you know that you are a walking target. If you've got any sort of doubt or hesitation around getting hit, you're not going to be able to execute your skill very well. The Missouri helmet gives you that reassurance that if you do get hit, you're going to be okay. It gives you the confidence to be able to play reverse sweeps, paddles, come down the ground to fast bowlers and know you've got that extra protection. So how do you go about designing the world's most innovative cricket helmet? The product development team at Missouri used 3D mapping print technology to improve protection for players. Sam, can you tell us how the technology actually allows you to create these helmets? Everyone's head shape is different. So six, seven years ago, we said, how could we make a custom fit helmet? And at that stage, we thought, look, we could 3D scan. 3D scanning technology was there. And about three years ago, we started looking again at 3D printing. And 3D printing had now evolved to the stage where we could actually start to 3D print certain materials. So we went from six years ago having an idea to last year, during the Ashes, the first 3D printed line is going out to professional cricketers. I put on the equivalent of a swimming hat and they measured the bumps and lumps on my, on my head. So we take a, a 3D scanning device which basically bounces light off the object that it's trying to scan and gives us a digital image of that head. And we use it to create customised pads that go inside the existing helmet. So it fills all the space that's left inside the helmet. There might be a lot of space at the sides or a lot of space at the top. We want to fill that with impact absorbing material. So we'll then do the digital design of those pads and we'll send that file off to a 3D print farm who will turn that into these soft ladder structured that gives us good air ventilation but also really good impact absorption. And how have the players received it? Brilliantly. The big change is obviously comfort. We're giving a fully customised fit to every player. Where they've been used to feeling a helmet touch points maybe at the front or maybe at the back, all of a sudden that low, the weight of the helmet is spread evenly across their heads. <laughs> it's more sturdy, you feel secure, you feel like it isn't going to move when you're running between the wickets or you're playing a shot, which is really important. In the past, there were some players that probably felt like they haven't wanted to wear a helmet. Do you get a sense now that that's changed and, and there's been a perception shift around protection for the head? 100% I, I think players see the importance of it now. That bit of equipment can, can save your life ultimately and allows you to play your game more freely. A high level sport is fiercely competitive, but out there in the middle, when someone does get hit, how does the mood change? It changes immediately. Your cause of concern for that player and in that moment the rivalry goes out the window. Your immediate concern is for the welfare of the player. So at any stage during game now are you thinking about what might happen if you get hit or is that just completely gone from your mind? No it's gone. If you have any doubt at all that you're going to get hit and you're hesitant you're not going to be able to deliver your skill exactly how you want to and the reassurance of having a proper protection around a very important part of your body is key. So what's next? Obviously so much has evolved over time already, but how are you thinking ahead for the next generation? The interesting bit will be how we see helmets evolve now because there's a big focus on concussion. There's no magic answer to it. There's no independent test that says these products are better for minimising concussion, but certainly it's the number one topic on all helmet makers' minds. The ECB are monitoring every single head impact. They're monitoring the number of concussions that are sustained, they're monitoring the number of days out of the game and they're doing that every single year. The work the ECB is doing to track those injuries is really valuable in terms of let's see what the evolution of helmets do in terms of that data and then also people will continue to invest in the laboratory testing that's going to hopefully give us the tools 
to develop better helmets into the future. We're looking forward to the next five years and we're looking forward to see how it evolves on field.